Slugs and snails are our number one garden pest. Every garden has them, thousands of them. Soft succulent growth, including seedlings, young tender shoots and leaves can all be damaged. Creating barriers around plants with grit, eggshells or other sharp materials isn't particularly successful. Most of the slugs that do most damage live in the soil, so tunnel under the barrier and attack your plants. But surrounding plants with a wool mulch does work. It binds together, forming an insulation mat around the plant, and also releases plant nutrients as it biodegrades. This matting is impregnated with copper, which produces a mild electric shock in the slug or snail when they touch it, encouraging them to go elsewhere and protect your plants against attack. On containers, you can use bands of copper tape, which also has the same effect, to prevent slugs and snails getting at plants growing in the containers. Barriers, though, don't get rid of slugs. The most effective method of actual control is to apply slug pellets around susceptible plants. Always read the instructions on the packaging before applying. Richard Jackson's slug and snail control is based on ferric phosphate, a naturally occurring mineral that is regarded suitable for use in organic gardening and regarded as safe to pets and wildlife. Using Nemoslug is another useful method to control slugs, but it's not very effective against snails. This biological control, available from several mail order suppliers, is based on naturally occurring nematodes and can be used anywhere in the garden, including around edible crops. Simply mix the powder with water in a watering can and apply to moist, warm soil around susceptible plants from March to October. One application lasts around six weeks. Or you can go out into the garden at dusk and collect all those slugs and snails you can see. You can then dispose of them. But don't throw snails over the fence. They have a strong homing instinct and will just come back.